Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Behind AlphaGo is Google DeepMind. Their mission is to solve intelligence and use it to make the world a better place. And they've decided to start using TensorFlow for all their future research. They believe it will enable them to execute their ambitious research goals at much larger scale and an even faster pace. For more details and to join the discussion, click the link. The latest version of Android Studio now supports Android N Developer Preview along with improvements to Instant Run that let you update incremental changes to your app code significantly faster. Follow the link for details and the update. Starting with Android N, there is a new mode called Direct Boot, which is when the device is powered on, but the user hasn't yet unlocked it. It's ideal for apps that schedule alarms, provide important and timely notifications, such as messaging apps, or provide services to other apps or the system, such as accessibility services. If your app is similar to one of those, check out the post on how to support Direct Boot. According to a study by Juniper Research, barely 1% of apps are now paid for at the point of download. With this demand for free apps on the rise, you're left with an important question. What's the best way to publish your app for free while sustainably funding your business? Well, here's the no-nonsense guide to in-app ads. In it, you'll learn foundational advertising concepts, how pay-per-click works, a basic explanation of ad networks, and how they can help you monetize your app, and more. Click the link to grab the ebook and get started today. In addition to the credential management API mentioned last week, Chrome 51 Beta also reduces the overhead of off screen rendering. For more details on these updates, as well as all the new features and changes in this release, check out the post. It's time to say goodbye to OAuth 1.0. Goodbye. So long. <laughs> We are moving away from the OAuth 1.0 protocol in order to focus our support on the current OAuth standard, OAuth 2.0, which increases security and reduces complexity for developers. This final phase of the shutdown will see two-legged OAuth 1.0 go away on October 20th, 2016. For more information and tips on moving to OAuth 2.0, take a look at the post. In fact, take a look at all the posts. They're super. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.